up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I thought today would be a good day to film a short like 10 minute makeup look that can be worn to work um, for if you're running late. On those days you just can't get yourself out of bed, this would be a really great look. Just gonna use like minimal products and just kind of look nice and clean and done. Hopefully you guys enjoy this look. Uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. And let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see from me. I love doing videos like at the request of any of my followers, both on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So let me know what you guys would like to see. Even if you just have questions that I can answer for you, get in touch with me, send me an email or comment down below on this video. So I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. I feel like the most time consuming thing that I do is my eyebrows cause like I have none. Hopefully 10 minutes is long enough. We will see. So here we go. 10 minutes. So I'm gonna use my temp two primer. This oh is running low. It's probably my favorite that I've found in a long time. Then I'm gonna take my Benefit Pore Profession, Pore Professional, as always, professional over the nose and just sort of like on the inner part of my cheeks because that's where I get all my pores. Ugh, one minute done already. Take my It Cosmetics CC Cream. You guys know I love this. I've talked about this before. So I like to kind of like tap this in everywhere and then in anywhere that it's looking kind of streaky, I will blend it in in circular motions. This, by the way, is a Morphe G36 foundation brush. It's really hard to clean, but it works really well. Oop. That took way too long. It's a glass of water right here that I'm wetting my sponge in. I guess I can't drink it now. Next, I'm taking my Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm super excited because I have a new concealer coming. I'm gonna try the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Everybody talks about that all the time. Um, so I'm excited to see how it holds up against Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC because the Pro Longwear has just been like my ride or die for so long. I'm super pumped to try something uh, that's supposed to be like really hydrating under the eyes because my skin is super dry this year, like the driest it's ever been. Like the older I get, I feel the more my skin is just getting drier and drier. It's, it's very uh, different for me because I used to be super, super oily. So I put concealer all over my nose just because it helps to fill in my pores. Don't feel like you have to do that. I know that that takes like a little bit more time. Like if you have really good skin, then you could totally skip this step and this could be like a five minute makeup for you because I'm almost halfway done here. My Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer on my Morphe E27 just to cover this nice little breakout that decided to pop up. Next, grabbing my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and just setting where I put my concealer. And this actually helps to fill in my pores as well and kind of keep them filled in. So anywhere that you get oily, anywhere that you want to just kind of uh, smooth out your skin a little bit. This is such an amazing powder. It's expensive, but like honestly, I've had this for months and it does not seem to be going anywhere. Like it's still pretty full, so definitely worth the investment in my opinion. I'm gonna use a pencil to fill in my brows today. Fingers crossed, it's not almost run out. So I'm gonna use Fling uh, Eyebrow Pencil by MAC. I love these brow pencils by MAC. The only thing I hate about them is you can't tell when they start to run out. So that's brutal. They're great for like a daytime eyebrow, you know? because they're really light and they're very like kind of grayed out colors so they look really natural. Um, but you have to use a lot of it. I don't know, I'm not really selling this brow pencil very well. I like the ABH ones better, but they're just so friggin' expensive. Okay, we're at like three minutes already, so I'm gonna have to like get my crap together here. I plucked out all my eyebrows when I was in junior high because somebody made fun of me for having a unibrow. I totally did have one, by the way, but now I have no eyebrows because of that bully. Okay, time to move on. So, gonna grab my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Oh, we only have two and a half minutes left. Those eyebrows really killed me. Then I'm gonna take my bronzer and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my crease just to kind of make it look like I have, put a little bit more effort in than I have. Just add a little bit, and I'm using an XO Beauty blender brush. Any blender brush will do, anything that will just kind of sweep uh, color onto your eyelid really nice and quickly. Ooh, two minutes left, guys, two minutes left. This color matches my sweater, like, perfectly. Curl my eyelashes quick. 
This is the Marc Jacobs uh, Film Noir Mascara. Overpriced, yet possibly worth it, in my opinion. But, you know, I, ha I actually have been kind of thinking about, like, how pressured people feel to go and buy, this is MAC Brow Gel um, and Emphatically Blonde, um, how pressured people feel to go and buy like expensive makeup and like, you know, it's just become such a crazy like cultural phenomenon that like, I don't know how I feel about that because I mean, obviously nobody should be buying too much makeup using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't think I mentioned that before. Just around the outside of my face. Oh, we're almost done, almost done. This might be a little longer than 10 minutes, guys. Maybe I'll make it like an 11 minute tutorial. Maybe that's what I'll end up calling it. Just up the sides of your nose. Ah! Timer went off and I'm not done. Fail. Okay, let's add, let's add five more minutes. Adding five more minutes. Okay. Okay, so make sure you get it on the temples. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I feel like people are, feel way too much pressure to buy like makeup with all the mon extra money that they have. I mean, it's just crazy and it's gotten so out of control. I'm gonna use New Romance Mineralized Blush by MAC just because I haven't used it in a long time. So you can skip blush if you want to. I'm adding this one because it has a bit of a shine to it and it's so pretty. And it's nice for like any time of year and I love coral blush. Like I know that some people probably would only ever wear it in, I know some people would only ever wear it in the summer, but I like it all year. It's pretty. I'm just gonna grab Dervish Lip Pencil by MAC. This is really pretty even by itself and it's super natural. I have like super pale lips. So it works really well on me. Some people find this doesn't show up on them. If your lips are dark, it probably won't. And I'm just gonna kinda use that as like a sheer wash of color. So, three minutes left, exactly. Okay, so you can do a very easy look in 12 minutes. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. I upload two to three videos a week these days. Um, definitely two for sure. If I have time to film another one then I will. I do have a full-time job and I freelance as a makeup artist. I work at Mac sometimes so I'm pretty busy but I'm definitely doing what I can to put as much content out there for you guys as I can. Well, hopefully you guys found this helpful and hopefully uh, you learned something that you didn't already know. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.